Oh, oh, holy shit. This has been... This has been a year. That much is assuredly true. A year that never seems to goddamn end. So it is with utmost joy that I bring you a very Half-Life Christmas. Because it means that the new year is around the corner. It's just there. No. Just out of sight. And just to hopefully make time move a little quicker, or at least waste a few minutes on your end, I've decided to get slightly inebriated and recount my experience of playing the PTSD mod, Christmas Edition. I think it's worth noting that I have zero context for the regular version of this mod, of which there are apparently two parts. I thought, who needs context? If anything, context is for cowards, so we'll just see if we can figure it out as we move along. Naturally, one of the first things that I attempted to do during the course of this Christmas-themed mod was open a present under the tree. Is that, in fact, something you can even do? Uh, no. Good start. Good start. Instead, I resigned myself to frying up some beer, which went, um, poorly. Bothered a sentient painting. Ah! Actually, scratch that. Make that two no! sentient paintings. <laughs> After that, I ceased my reign of indoor terror long enough to wonder, What's outside? As it happens, a veritable winter wonderland. Albeit one that seems to intersect with the void. You know, my granddad always tells me it's not truly Christmas until you hear that first off-key synth trumpet farting away somewhere in the background, and I'm happy to hear that PTSD has that particular point covered. Not just that, we've also got a roster of colourful, recognisable Christmas characters. I mean, who can forget Spengbab the Abyssal Nightmare? Okay, maybe that's a little too deep in terms of the Christmas lore here. How about someone a little bit more recognizable? How about the one that everyone loves? Bob. Is ringing any bells? Ringing any jingle bells? Get it? Get it? Oh god, I slay myself. Oh wait, there's another one. Slay! Oh god, I need another beer so bad. Fucking bullshit! Oh god, that's so much better. Right, what was I doing? Ah uh, yes, smashy smashy. With what looks like a gingerbread ukulele, no less. You'd think those things would be brittle, but when it comes to smashing a TV-headed freak over the head with it, surprisingly robust. What the ever-loving shit? Mercifully, you don't have to spend too long wandering around, thwacking things over the head with a gingerbread ukulele. Ukulele? Oh my god. How the heck have I only just got that pun now? Anyway, dealing with those guys gets you the donk gun. You can tell it's called the dong gun, because when you fire it, it goes... I have no idea whose face is supposed to be on the barrel, but what I can tell you is, this is where they keep the spare Alexes. Christ on a bike, could you imagine if Santa's sleigh was pulled by hunters instead of reindeer? No call for little Timmy. If you're bad, you get a face full of flechettes. Nope, not a clue. But I like its hat. Jingles when it fires. What's not to like? No. It's amazing how a few lights and decorations can make any location festive. Even a goddamn graveyard. Gosh, I mean, even this void. Under normal circumstances, it'd be slightly unsettling. But a few fairy lights, a wreath, a few hats, it's delightful. You know what's nice about this mod as well? It even offers a solution for people who may not feel strictly comfortable saying Merry Christmas. So instead, why not offer your neighbor a Merry... Ah! It's okay. It's okay. You don't have to be afraid. You don't have to be afraid. Don't fear me! You know, there's an easy fix for shit like this. All you need is WD-40 and reasonable access to an exorcist, because if you don't, I mean, just look, things... <laughs> things get out of control. Oh, hey, considering you're friendly and you've got a clock for a face, guess what time it is. What is it? Glad you asked. Wait, drink a bit. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, what time is it? Oh, fuck. How much, how much did I drink? Nice and hot. Oh, that's spicy. The hell? <laughs> yeah, boy. 
Got to admit, I quite like the redesign of the gravity gun here. It's very, um, Aperture Labs. I assume it looks mostly the same outside of the Christmas mod, obviously, minus the Christmas hat. Not that you'll be using it for anything longer than about five minutes, because by the time you're done with the wreath-laden man hacks, it is straight on to the mistletoe revolver. That said, the only kissing going on with this thing is going to be a swift slug right betwixt the eyeballs. As usual with this kind of thing, the only way to transition from this section to the next is via psychotic break within a repurposed portal. After voiding your bowels as well as your psyche, you'll find yourself on a brief stroll through an idyllic snowscape before a candy-colored sword blade will remind you that the gravity gun is indeed still a thing. Crossbow does pretty much exactly what you remember it doing, albeit much more whimsically. And then there's this gun, which, uh, its special feature appears to be that it's kind of buggy. And it disappears when you fire it. Good job! Oh, I'll, I'll screw you! I did all the work here! Sod off! As it happens, if you need to drive anywhere in this mod, you're not going to be doing it in style, because this- this is- This is what you get. Is- Is that a candy burger? I'm offended on multiple levels. Hong Kong motherfuckers! Coming through, driving a candy car! You know, I can't help but feel that a few aspects of this could have been somewhat tightened up. Then again, maybe it's just me. I do have a habit of loading these. Completely wrong. As for this thing, not a clue what it does. As far as I can tell, I've just made that combine relatively more moist than he was before. Things get a little bit more mellow as you begin your climb up this icy precipice. Also gives you prime opportunity to whip out the crossbow and do some long-range sniping. Let's see. Kobe! Kids still say that, right? Am I still hip? By all accounts, though, this is probably one of my favorite parts of the mod, if not for just the feeling, the general vibe. It's quite relaxing, no doubt enhanced by that nice little soundtrack tinkling along in the background. There's no enemies to worry about here, no traps. The only tricksy element, I guess, is the occasional bit of platforming. But that said, all the while there is this sense of anticipation building because before you start the climb, there's a weapon cache that essentially replenishes your stock completely. And I feel like I've played enough games to recognize that that's usually code for get ready, there's a fight coming. The music eventually drops out, leaving you with nothing but the howling wind as you ascend this gantry. And when you do finally reach the top, you not only behold a gargantuan pile of presents, but also a curious Santa-esque figure wearing a banana hat. So you steal yourself for a fight, and uh, then things get a little... get a little screwy. You probably expected some fight and all that. And then you would get all a Chris after defeating Box and Rocks. Wouldn't that be a happy ending bit mod? Yeah. You see, if these mods, they just keep going. I'm tired. Okay, you gotta stop doing this fees. Anyway, for rambling, I guess you want your reward. Whatever you get when you reach the end of a mod. I didn't really think further. So, I guess you could enjoy this. Ah, uh, oh hell no. 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 No, this is the opposite of enjoyable. Give me back my goddamn Christmas! Oh hey, the flashlight still jingles. You know what, I'm gonna stick my neck out here and say the context is still for cowards. Nothing that I could have learned through playing the first two entries of this particular mod series would quite frankly help me here. I'm gonna- I'm just gonna say it. The name of the mod is all you need to know. PTSD. The main character's gone cray cray, and there you go. That's all the excuse you need. You can throw in any madness and you can just excuse it and hand wave it. He's gone nuts, it's fine. I've seen it happen dozens of times. All right, yep, all right, I'm getting another beer. I'm getting another beer. Maybe putting on a Christmas hat. I need I need to feel festive, god damn it. This is harshing my vine. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Fuck, I crashed the desktop. Eh. I guess that's one way to end it. But yeah, that was a that was a thing that certainly happened. I hope you enjoyed watching said thing happen. I'm probably gonna go have a lie down now and dread the impending apocalyptic hangover that's sure to visit me when I least suspect it. At the very least, I hope you have an enjoyable Christmas or whatever it is that you choose to celebrate this time of year, and I hope your new year is at the bare minimum 
nice. So without further ado, this has been Mr. Icarus, officially signing off from this screaming hellscape of a year that we call 2020. Catch you on the flip side sometime in January. Thank you so very much for watching. Icarus out.